It came after the couple asked 12 wishers for charity donations to mark the occasion. They released a joint statement on their Archul Foundation website today, saying they are incredibly grateful to those who have given money to good causes, volunteered or raised donations on behalf of their son. The proud parents wrote, We have been deeply touched over the past two years to feel the warmth and support for our family in honor of Archie's birthday. Many of you donate to charities on his behalf and mark the occasion by giving back or doing an act of service, all through the goodness of your hearts, they wrote. But they said too many families are still struggling through the COVID pandemic and asked those who can afford it to help vaccinate the most vulnerable. Since the start of 2020, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry have been quietly working on the launch of their new non-profit organization, Archul. The charitable initiative comes after the couple stepped away as working senior royals for the British royal family a move that ultimately saw the denouement of Sussex Royal. Though the launch of the Archul Foundation has been delayed due to the Sussex's commitment to supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and COVID-19 relief efforts, the couple has been increasingly sharing more information about the organization. In April 2020, the Sussexes confirmed that they would be continuing their charitable efforts after leaving the royal family under a new non-profit named Archul. The two made the announcement after The Telegraph reported documents that showed Meghan and Harry had filed a trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office in March. Like you, our focus is on supporting efforts to tackle the global COVID-19 pandemic but faced with this information coming to light, we felt compelled to share the story of how this came to be, the couple said in a statement at the time. Meghan and Harry revealed in a statement that the Archul Foundation's name took inspiration from their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Before Sussex Royal, came the idea of Arch, the Greek word meaning source of action. We connected to this concept for the charitable organization we hope to build one day, and it became the inspiration for our son's name, read the statement. To do something of meaning, to do something that matters. Archul is a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action, and another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon. With the outbreak of COVID-19 and an international resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, Harry and Meghan decided to temporarily postpone the launch of Archul to redirect their efforts to those two causes, as reported by The Telegraph in June 2020. On December 31, 2020, the Sussexes launched Archul's official website, which included childhood photos of themselves with their mothers, Princess Diana and Doria Ragland. I am my mother's son, and I am our son's mother, the letter for 2021 read. Together we bring you Archul. We believe in the best of humanity because we have seen the best of humanity, from our mothers and strangers alike. According to the Archul website, the Foundation's core purpose is to uplift and unite communities, local and global, online and offline, one act of compassion at a time. We believe that compassion is the defining cultural force of the 21st century, and through the work of our, we support a growing community of partner organizations fueling systemic cultural change. The website lists forthcoming projects and partnerships with the Center for Compassion and Altruism Research and Education, the Center for Humane Technology, the Loveland Foundation, the UCLA Center for Critical Internet Inquiry, and the World Central Kitchen. Dr. Sophia Noble, the co-director of the UCLA Center for Critical Internet Inquiry, commended the Sussexes for working to expose and dismantle the issues of racial inequality. We have a shared commitment and sense of urgency in making a more compassionate world much of which is undermined by internet platforms. I know what they stand for, share in their mission. We look forward to lending our research expertise and networks to our mutual work on the most pressing issues of internet policy and culture that are accelerating racial, gender, and economic inequity. In February, the couple also updated the Archul website to reflect their partnerships with Spotify and Netflix. The Duke and Duchess will also head Archul Audio an audio-first production company that has teamed with Spotify to spotlight diverse perspectives and voices through podcasts. The Sussexes have also created Archul Productions, which will produce, in collaboration with Netflix, programming that informs, elevates, and inspires. Last November, it was reported that the Sussexes recruited Christine Shermer, the former head of communications at Pinterest and former corporate communications manager at Apple, for Archul's publicity team. Other team members include James Holt the couple's communications lead in the United Kingdom, and Toya Holness, who led communications at the New York City Department of Education, as the Sussex's press secretary. PR agency Sunshine Sachs will work with Shermer, Holt, and Holness as they oversee Meghan and Harry's ventures in Archul and beyond.